Professor? <gasps> there you are. You flipped out again. Just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. What the hell was that in there? This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Oh. Uh. Piece of cake. You're up next. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. I wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. I shouldn't have listened to you back there. We'd still all be together. No one forced you. We'll find another way. No surprise that didn't sell. Who'd want land in this godforsaken town?
Hey, are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. didn't just happen. Quiet now. I'll be cool. What are you talking about? Get away or you will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you are in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! Let go of her right now! What spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I have done nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path.
place must have been a grocery store or something. <laughs> that campaign didn't work out too well. Over here, look at this. Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. Seriously? You're going in there? No way am I going up there. Well, do you have a better suggestion? Sure. Don't go into an old, dark, creepy-ass building after the night we've had. Will you quit being such a baby? Oh, fuck me. Be right back. Promise. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. I'm in. Is it safe? Think so.
Hello? Anyone there? Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, I'll look for another way around. Hello? Who's there? Hey! Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? This place is creeping me out. It's full of old ass useless shit. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Hold on. I'll be right there. Come on, we need a break here. Will you relax? I'm coming. troubles you. Tell me, what is happening? Soon they will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. You are privy to the rumours about sir, my wife, Amy. Please, do not open that door. Do not let them take me, I beg you, husband. I am here to arrest your wife, Joseph. I am the legal warrant here. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. 
Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? I know you've just seen something. You've got to tell me. Right now. Don't treat me like some dumb kid. I can handle it. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What do you think? I'm not so sure we'll find anything useful in here. It's derelict. You students are all the same. Doom, gloom, and negativity. Never mind how it looks. All we need is one phone to still be hooked up. This place is a real dump, even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. There's gotta be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead. Just like the rest of Little Hope. Keep looking.
fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. Real nice. There's got to be something. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Line's dead. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. What is that? What do you think? Answer it. Answer the goddamn phone! Hey, come on! Be a man for once in your miserable life? Fine. Hello? Who is this? Whoever it is on this call is having some kind of breakdown. They sound delusional. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. Do not hang up. This is our best shot at finding out what's going on here. What the f ah! I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. 
We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Well, now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time is gone begging. Go be with you, kin. I beseech this court and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? Let's get the fuck out of here. Not a pair between the two of you. We can't leave this poor woman to face them all alone. I beg you not to abandon me. By all that is holy, with whom are you conversing, woman? Even though I have seen this with my own eyes, I scarcely believe it. Amy is lost to us. Even now, she pleads for evil spirits to remain by her side. You must help me. I beg you. We need to stop whatever's going on here. Well, if this is what it seems to be, then there's no stopping it. Because it happened over 300 years ago. You seem very sure of yourself all of a sudden. I would ask the court to hear direct testimony. A witness who saw with her own eyes the accused take part in some unspeakable satanic ritual. In the woods outside of this very town. Reverend Carver, you mislead us all. Forgive me, good judge. But it is my wife who stands accused, and I know her to be innocent. I would not be so quick as to cast stones at others, Joseph. Not when your own conduct does not bear scrutiny. <laughs> Please hear me, good judge. All accusations against me are false. They're founded only in malice. If there be darkness here among us, I will shine... No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me, sir? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. If I am correct, your touch will release her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. The master cannot help you now. It is too late. They are here among us. They are here among us. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. I can't believe how much that woman looked like me. How in the hell is that even possible? When you first told me, I thought you were messing with me or exaggerating. But seeing that woman for myself was a whole world of weirdness. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? The whole thing scared the crap out of me. But that little girl was freaky. My gut says her fit was a setup, a scam to put that woman on trial in even bigger trouble. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? 
The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. Come on. She's just some little kid, who most likely doesn't get how big a deal the whole thing is. She knows exactly how serious it is. Either way, the woman on trial, Angela 2.0, she seemed like she saw us. And so did some of the others. You're right about that. They definitely saw us. A little kid just seeing us appear out of nowhere? Could easily believe that was witchcraft, especially back then. Dream up all the excuses you want for that little kid. I don't trust her one little bit. We can't explain how we happened to see each other. How do you expect some little girl from 300 years ago to wrap her head around it? That woman might double was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah. It was tough to watch, for sure. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat looked just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn doors! We can't either! They must be locked! Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one... Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nothing that's gonna help us much. But I found this. It's kinda neat. I don't believe it. I saw this exact keychain in my dream. That's pretty weird. It's more than weird. It's significant. I just don't know how. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's going to happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. 